So that means we have to use what? Ethan? Um, the motor. We have to have the motor, okay? So we're going to need the motor, and what do we always have to attach our motor to? What, Faye? The battery pack, right? So we're going to need to include our motor and our battery pack, right? So which, how does our motor turn? If we were looking at our cylinder of the motor, does it turn sideways, like up to the side, or does it turn on top like that? It's usually on its side, turning like this, okay? Can change the momentum? Just a minute. So, what are we designing today? Ethan? Something, something that uses gears or rubber bands. Okay, you, you have our simple machines that we probably are going to want to use, right? Mm -hmm. But what are we designing today? A merry-go-round. A what? A merry-go-round. A merry-go-round, okay? Also, so you have to think about, Ethan, when you're doing your merry-go-round, usually when we put, mount our motor, we're mounting it sideways, right? And the gears are turning like this. How does the merry-go-round turn? It's going to turn like this. Everybody turn like a merry-go-round. Think about how your merry-go-round is going to turn. So how are you going to get it so that the motor can turn on this plane? Okay? Yeah, you're thinking of a Ferris wheel. Do we want a Ferris wheel? No, we want a merry-go-round. Quentin? And we also need a, don't we also need to make it so it's not too fast? Oh, because what, what other part does it say it has to be? It has to be safe. Oh, it has to be safe. Okay. Let's think back to our catapults, guys. And when we just attach the catapult arm straight to the motor, is that going to work for our merry-go-round to attach it straight to the motor? Will things stay as one piece, or are things going to be flying everywhere? Flying everywhere. So if we just attach it straight to the motor, that's not going to be a safe ride. It might be exciting, but it's not going to be safe. So we have to make sure that it's safe, exciting, and then it's a merry-go-round that uses our motor, correct? Uh -huh. Okay, so keep all those things in mind. So, let's what out of here. You guys have all seen this type of merry-go-round, right? At the playground, can it, does anyone know of a park around here that has this type of merry-go-round? Bradley? Perry Park? Perry Township Park has one of these, right? Um, and as a kid, you learn to what with the merry-go-round? You know, before you fall off? <laughs> Gotta hold on tight, right? What else, Bradley? Um, how to push it and then jump on. Okay, so you gotta or get have someone else do it for you. Okay, so usually the merry-go-round by itself is still, right? So it has potential energy because it's sitting there, right? And then what will give it kinetic energy? Make it Us. move. Us, the pusher, right? So someone has to be this guy which pushing our, the merry-go-round. Which in our case is gonna our case is going to be the motor, okay? So we've all seen this before. Now, have you ever seen this? Yeah, yeah you have? Waldemere. Waldemere has one. Cedar Point has one. The zoo has one. The zoo has one. Disney World has one. So a carousel operates on a merry-go-round philosophy, right? It's spinning like a merry-go-round, correct? All right. Lots of times, what will happen on a carousel with the horses? They'll go up and down. They'll never go get an idea for that. They go up and down. Has anyone ever looked up top in a merry-go-round to see what makes them go up and down? Little, uh, right. you have this thing and then you have this. So there's axles, right? Mm -hmm. And you're con the horse is connected to the axle so it can go up and down. So you have a wheel and axle turning it's still there, too. All right? Oh, we only have one mode. Anyone mode. ever heard in this? Dumbo, Aladdin's carpet, uh, there. scary rockets, I call, call heights. Did you All right, so where's the merry-go-round we kept up? Bradley? What? Where's the merry-go-round feature of Dumbo? Uh, the center. The center. So we're turning in the center. What is Dumbo at the end of? What simple machine, Andrew? It's at the end of a lever, which you can control up and down. down. Okay. Is our, does ours seem to be this complicated where it's going up and down? Well, we only have one motor and we don't have any hydraulics, so 
bait with that assumption? Maybe no. Probably not. All right. So, but we do have to make it spin, and it has to be fun and exciting. For how many Lego people? Two. 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 Okay. All right. So when we've done our um, other projects, we've had to deal with a few forces. What force do we have to overcome? Friction. Raise your hand. What force do we have to overcome with our gears? Bradley? Friction. Friction. Okay, so we've talked about friction. Now we're talking about moving in a circle. So there's two forces that are involved with circular motion, okay? And the first law of motion says that for every force, there's an equal and opposite force, okay? So if we're talking about forces of circular motion, when things move in a circle, does anyone know what the two forces of circular motion are? Friction is not one of them. But if I had a ball on a string and I was swinging it, and it's going to hit my head, there's two forces at play. Bradley, do you know what you <laughs> Well, momentum, inertia is definitely involved, okay? But why doesn't the momentum make it just go off in one direction? Why does it stay in a circle? Because it's contained. <coughs> Think of things, the planet circling gravity. the sun. There's, gra well, gravity forces that to go around the sun. Have any of you ever heard of either of these forces? The first force is centripetal force. Okay, so here's the path of inertia or momentum, okay? It wants to go out, but instead, there's a force that pulls it towards the center of the circle and keeps it going around, okay? But there's also an opposite force working on it, and that's the centrifugal force. So, like, if you go on a ride where you're, like, you lean up against the wall and the floor drops out, has anyone ever done one of those kind of rides? It's a bad idea. Yeah. All right. You stay on the wall because these two forces are working, right? The centrifugal force is pushing you against the wall of the ride. Yeah, you feel it going up. You feel it going up. No, like when you drop down, your side goes up. Okay. Equal and opposite. Peace. All right. So just think about that when we're going when we're making our ride, okay? Now, what was our formula for speed when we were doing our gear car, Alexis? Speed plus time over distance. Okay. I need distance over time. Okay, so speed equals distance over time. What did we measure time in last time? Uh, seconds. Seconds. So we're going to measure it in seconds today. All right? And then if we are moving in a circle, our Lego people are moving in a circle, what is the distance of a circle? Uh, perimeter. <coughs> Diameter. Circumference, okay? So does anyone know the formula for circumference? Has anyone learned that yet? Tape measure around the edges. <laughs> Good tape measure around the edges. Do we have a tape measure? Yes, we do. Oh, there's a radius involved. You tape, tape around, round, and then, oh, or you could just take from the center of the circle, diameter, you could take that, and then you just multiply it by 3.4. 3. what? No, not Two. quite. 3. You're close. What is pi? 3.6. 3. 3. what? One. 3. Flex rulers, okay? 
Well, this wedge will soak through. You're going to find the diameter. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the, just Let's just do it this way, please. Okay. Find the diameter. Oh, put it into your formula. What should we measure it today? What would be the best system of measurement? Centimeters? Andrew. Centimeters? Centimeters. So for finding our distance, we're going to measure in centimeters. Okay? All right. So we have introduced our task. Gear ratio. Right. Gears are a type of what simple machine? Wheel and axle. Andrew? Wheel and axle. Wheel and axle, right? And yeah, last week when we were discussing gears, if we put making it into a ratio, what number goes first? The driven or the drive wheel? Yeah. Drive. Driven. The driven. So whenever we do our ratio, we go driven. Guys, so if you need a little extra help and support, 
four ideas. You can use those. One last thing, guys. Everybody, eyes here. Remember when we did our gear cars, right? We had A was the gear ratio slower or faster? Slower in A, faster in B. And if you need ideas for gear ratio and how to set that up, you can look at our gear car that I have here or your gear car paper.